Hi everybody, Robert Dyer and welcome, welcome to the Robert Dyer channel, the dark side of YouTube where you have to consider yourself a veritable genius if you're now watching this video because you've outwitted all of YouTube's attempts to stop you from finding this video. So congratulations. And tonight, I went through the drive through at Burger King, and holy smokers, they've got a brand new product, Crispy Chicken Tenders. And they're obviously having to compete with McDonald's on this. And I just had the McDonald's Tenders last night, coincidentally, so we're going to be able to find out just how they stack up. Okay, so here's the special packaging they have for the crispy chicken tenders and I also managed to get to my favorite Burger King sauce, the zesty sauce which is a nice horseradish and also another thing is that Burger King is one of the few restaurants that still has the premium fine dining white napkins instead of the bland brown ones And now let's open up this box here. Fort Knox type box. And you can see that hmm. there they are. I have to say that they appear, in my opinion, these are smaller than McDonald's. Uh, chicken tenders. Zoom in there for a closer look at that coating. And I'll show you also the back of the box there with the chicken photo. And we'll open this up again. got the zesty sauce open and as I say these are quite small compared to the McDonald's it's very similar to the McDonald's coating but also it's a bit less uh, seems like it's more evenly sprayed on somehow the aroma is I mean, very similar to the Burger King onion ring coating aroma. Let's go ahead and see how it tastes. Now I'll say that there's a little more seasoning in this coating than there is in the McDonald's uh, tender, but it's The McDonald's one's a little more like fried chicken like you'd expect. This reminds me more like a seafood, like a Louisiana fried seafood coating from the texture of it and to a lesser extent from the flavor of it. Now I'll say there's a decent amount of meat in there but the overall tender is so small I'm not sure it makes much of an advantage. The meat is definitely tender. The texture is a little bit different from the McDonald's tenders. A little bit more like a chicken nugget than the McDonald's tenders, which are more like boneless buffalo wings. Now I'm going to put on, this is probably the my favorite sauce aside from hot mustard which is no longer available at McDonald's at the moment but in terms of fast food sauce I think Burger King zesty sauce is the best a horseradish based sauce a wonderful horseradish aroma Bob it's too late 
YouTube is bringing down the wall on this review. And now they're pumping up Suit Kids review. It'll take him six minutes just to get the box open. Because first he'll have to tell you about how he drove around town all night in a three-piece suit trying to find the tenders. And just when his brill cream was about to evaporate, he finally managed to buy a four-piece of them from a trench-coated pervert behind a crack house. I'm tired of playing second fiddle to the love child of Alf Alpha and the Culligan Man. Bob, you actually went to summer camp at Georgetown Prep. Jake and Logan Paul can't say that. Don't go to bed before the king. Unless you're Brett Kavanaugh. Unless you're Brett Kavanaugh. Well, the zesty sauce is very good with these, but of course zesty sauce is very good with just about anything. I would say the strong points of the Burger King tenders are the, the I think a very nice flavor to the coating, the seasoning they have on there. The meat is uniformly tender except for this one Piece. You only get four. In McDonald's you can get six or I think even ten tenders, but these are not only few in number but smaller in size. I think overall the McDonald's the quality, flavor, and juiciness of the meat is uh, significantly higher than the Burger King version. And of course with the price here you're still you're paying over a dollar for each of these strips and they're pretty small compared to McDonald's so for $4.89 I think they definitely need to knock a dollar off of this price and then of course the Montgomery County Council is going to deliver their usual sucker punch 29 cents tax ridiculous as usual but uh, those Crooked criminals are now about to unleash their biggest plot yet, and they're trying to steal the election. So everybody in Montgomery County, you better get out there and vote for me, or you're going to be very sorry with what they've got in store for you in the next four years. So I'm going to say these are, if you're hungry for chicken tenders and you're near Burger King or you're there already, I think these are certainly going to be a decent selection for you. They fit the bill, they're satisfactory, but they do not stack up to the McDonald's uh, tenders, which I think rival the best in the business at this point. Uh, Burger King's been on quite a roll with a lot of great burgers for more than a year now, and so I a little bit disappointed with this product didn't quite live up to what their standards have been in recent years so I'm gonna go ahead and give them a solid three stars they definitely uh, you know they delivered what they promised they're just not quite up to the standards of McDonald's hope you like this video share it with your friends Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.